say. <laughs> Years and years of horse rope pulling boats have helped erode the corner of that uh, stone there. Left Fran driving the boat. I'm on the towpath walking the dogs. I'm trying to build up the strength in my foot after injuring it God, more than three months ago now. And whereas before I would have thought nothing of walking five, six, seven miles at least. I've uh, only been managing two miles at the most at the moment before it swells up and starts becoming painful again. So it's a really slow process. And uh, it's no wonder some people have said to me, you're gonna wish you had broken it because uh, that's gonna take longer to mend than a fracture, who knows. But anyway, you know, we haven't explored all the hills and the towns that we wanted to do, not just because of my foot, but because of lockdown also stopped us doing the exploring we wanted to do. Uh, we wanted to catch the train to Buxton, but we never got round to doing that. That's a beautiful town in the Peak District. But never mind, still plenty to see and do. So today we're just doing three miles to the end of this canal, the Macclesfield Canal, or the beginning, whichever way you're going. And uh, that connects us then to the Trenton Mersey. And we've got a few miles to do on that and quite a few locks. Uh, that will get us to the Middlewich branch of the Shropshire Union. And uh, so hopefully within three or four days we'll be on the Llangothlin Canal. And um, we've just got to pick up some water today, fill the tank up. I have a leisurely cruise, so no rush. And it's a gorgeous day again. It's supposed to be getting into the mid to late 20s centigrade this week. And uh, that'll be nice because it's been bloody awful lately, the weather. I still haven't painted the one side of the boat yet. Ho hum. Ramsden Hall behind and uh, the canal was due to run behind it but they took the shorter route and cut through in front of the house and uh, an agreement was made with the then owners that uh, these railings will be built in order to afford them a better view of the countryside in front of them. They were quite dilapidated until recently I think 2009 the uh, Macclesfield Canal Society raised the money to repair the railings and uh, put them back in the state they're in now and it looks really unique actually you don't see this on any other stretch of canal that I've come across anyway but yes I don't know what this building is now but it's a, a big old pile Well, that's our little walk finished. Just wait for Fran now to come and pick us up. Did you enjoy your walk, Jess? Enjoy your walk? No. No, you're not swimming, Archie. Come on, come on out. Come on, out. <laughs> come on in, on you get. Go, 
And this is our first luck of the day. We've been moored up there for a bite to eat and uh, fill up with water. So this is the first of four locks we're doing today. This one's a stop lock designed either to uh, take tolls in the past from one canal company to the other but more unlikely it's to preserve water from one canal company that being the Trent and Mersey and this one the Macclesfield Canal Company back in the day. None of them would like to have lost any water to the uh, opposition so they built these stop locks just to preserve the water on their stretch of canal. Uh, never a moment wasted, eh, Fran? I'm on it today. She's on it today. She's been washing whilst the tank was filling with water. Now she's cleaning windows while the boat's in the lock. Such a domestic goddess. This is the first of 11 locks today, going down what is known as Heartbreak Hill. So we've got a couple of days of locking to be done today and tomorrow. I think there's 12 or 13 locks to be done tomorrow. We just want to crack on now and get towards the Langhoff Link Canal and to pastures new. So for us, it's an early start. It's barely gone nine o'clock. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Nice bit of locking and cruising. Something different. All these locks were duplicated. It's not something you see uh, often on the system, if, if at all anywhere else, I'm not sure. But uh, two locks side by side, obviously to uh, facilitate faster throughput in the day. not bad going. That's, That's uh, 11 locks done. And it's three minutes past 12. <laughs> In less than three hours, so that's great. That's good. Yeah. And droning done as well. Yeah, you've done loads of filming. 
We uh, were shattered last night after a day's travelling and locking. We're actually in bed and I think we were asleep by half past nine last night or well the, before it was dark. With the lockdown, we haven't been cruising, we haven't been doing locks, so uh, it knackered us, didn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. So consequently, we were up and bright-eyed, bushy-tails at quarter past six this morning. Yeah, so and early breakfast. Good. Yeah, we've loved it. It's now looking for somewhere to moor up now for the day and it's not even lunchtime, so really pleased. Yes. It's been a really hot afternoon. We just had a uh, nice bit of dinner. What do we have? I'm on the hottest days of the year. <laughs> Chili. Chili. <laughs> because that's all the ingredients we had on the boat. That's all I could make for nice dinner. Nice <laughs> spicy chili. Uh, it's quiet and down now. It's been quite a noisy afternoon. Uh, farmers here have been loading their cattle onto the back of trucks all afternoon. So um, it's all quiet now. Thank so, goodness for that. Yeah. But it's beautiful, really nice place to be. Unfortunately, we're only going to be here for one night because we've got plans to move on tomorrow. And probably early, early, because it's uh, going to be... They're predicting 27 degrees, aren't they? Yeah. So we think we're going to um, get up at the crack of dawn and uh, hopefully be on our way by about 8 o'clock. <laughs> So it's day two of Heartbreak Hill, uh, or Cheshire Lux as the old boys used to call it. And uh, fortunately, half, almost halfway through the locks, there is a mile gap that you can moor up, which is what we've done overnight. And uh, so yeah, onwards and upwards. It's gonna be a real scorch, it's so hot. It's eight o'clock now and so hot already. A boat went left here at six o'clock this morning on an epic journey to try and beat the heat um, but you know we'll go hopefully by about 11 o'clock we should be mooring up with a little bit of luck it's gonna be a scorcher and yes. a following wind don't they say a following wind <laughs> anyway let's get out of earshot of distressed bovine animals and horse flies and horse flies <laughs> that's the first luck of the day done and I'm just hovering under this bridge while Fran opens her lock ahead. It's just too warm to be running from one lock to the other, opening them up in advance and then uh, coming back. So we're just taking our time, no rush, just doing it under our own steam. Right, it's about half past ten, we're doing really well. Just four locks to go now. Fran's popped inside to get a drink. And boy is it hot. It really is hot, so I dread to think what this afternoon's going to be like. Well, hopefully we can find a tree to moor up underneath. That'll be nice. 
Well, this chamber was obviously a lock at some point, uh, but it's now been converted into a, a weir for excess water to travel down. It's lovely and cool standing above it though. Well, that's it, just this one and the lock below to go and we're done. The end of Heartbreak Hill. Oh, that's not bad going. It's dead on 11 o'clock and we've done 12 locks and hopefully we'll be more than up in the next five minutes. So that's what teamwork does for you. Four. <laughs> well that's was it 12 or 13? I've lost count. 112. 112 locks done <laughs> in three hours. Which isn't overdoing, is it? This is That's our pace. pretty <laughs> slow going. Yeah, you know, if we, if we had a mind to, we could have shaved half an hour off that time, but it's too hot. We've just sauntered in between locks, haven't we, up and down. So we found a nice little spot. Hopefully these trees will shelter us from the afternoon sun. Looks like it's going to be a shade, eh, hun? I hope so, yeah. yeah. And uh, gonna go search for cold beer now. The service is just down there, and there's also a lovely, apparently, Italian restaurant. When we came up, it had been recommended us. And I don't know why we didn't go there. I think we didn't have any money at the time. Rest, and all restaurants sorts of were beginning to close down then. It was, yeah. it was that. And come next week, it will probably be open, unless they've got outside self service takeaway stuff. I don't know. We'll go and have a look. But I think cold beer is definitely in order, isn't it? Two. 22. 22. <laughs> I can count beers like I can count locks. Anyway, so, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's been a bit of an epic episode, this one. Yeah. I think. And uh, give us a thumbs up. And subscribe. And uh, follow us on all the other Everything. grams and instas and Facebook. We're too tired to say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye.